Hi, I'm Lari, and welcome to your 30 minute dumbbell only upper body and core workout. What you're going to need today, dumbbells, whatever you have, grab them. For reference, I have a pair of 25, 15s, 10s, and 5s. You and I are different, so I want you to grab whatever you have handy. Remember, we want to grab a weight selection that feels challenging while maintaining really great form. And then lastly, you'll need a mat, and then you may want a towel and hydration around as well. Here's today's format. We have a dumbbell drop set in a tricep format, stay with me. So we have three minutes of total work. Our first minute, we're grabbing our heavier set of dumbbells. We're really going to challenge and fatigue the muscles. The second minute, that's when we drop the weight selection to something lighter, about five to 10 pounds lighter. We'll begin the first 30 seconds pulsing at the hardest part of the movement. And for that final 30 seconds of our dumbbell exercise, we do normal tempo, full range of motion. So to recap, first minute, heavy weight, second minute, drop the weight selection, we pulse, we then go to full range of motion, and then our final minute, we go to a body weight plank variation that will really target the same muscles we hit, as well as your core. So that is three minutes of total work. After that three minutes is up, we'll have a 20 second recovery time before we transition into a new triset. Now this one is super tough, so give yourself options and grace throughout. If needed, you can always drop the weight selection to something lighter, drop the weight again. Those plank exercises, they're gonna be really, really demanding on our body so if needed some options release the knees to the mat you can also elevate your hands so if you have a chair around if you elevate your hands on that surface it'll decrease the resistance and then lastly you could also elevate your hands and release the knees now if this causes any discomfort on your wrist totally feel ya what you could do is place a small towel roll underneath the palm and or grab a hold of dumbbells so it keeps your wrist in a nice neutral stacked position there is no jumping in today's workout it is low impact but just because it's low impact doesn't mean it's going to be a walk in the park or breeze it's as challenging as we want to make it with our resistance and with our intensity we put behind every single move enough of me talking go ahead grab all your stuff and let's get to work we're going to begin this workout with a dumbbell four-way raise and then we'll drop it to lateral raise pulses right into lateral raise full range of motion so the first exercise i'll be using tens and then i'll be dropping it to five pounds before we transition to our body weight plank exercise so four-way raise we start right here we bring it up it's a lateral raise but we bring it forward to target the anterior portion of the delts bring it back to center and then down so four part movement one two three, four, keep your core tight if needed. Drop the weight selection even more because this is our first exercise. We begin in three, two, and one, let's go. So we take it out, in, out, then lower. Make sure to keep those shoulders down and away from the ears and we're not letting it shrug up. Something else that I want you to be very mindful of today is really paying attention to the position of your body. And what I mean by that is try to keep your rib cage stacked over the pelvis and keep the core tight. If at any moment during this workout, you find the hips wanting to spill forward and really get behind the movement, I would suggest dropping the weight selection to maintain that really good form. In 10 seconds, we drop the weight selection and we'll hold at the top and pulse. Last three, two, and one. Grab your other lighter weights, take it to the top and we pulse. Full range of motion in three, two, and one, let's go. Next up, we have a high to low plank. We'll release the dumbbells in three, two, and one. Come to your plank position. You can always start on the knees. Wide stance. Take it down to the right forearm, left forearm, right hand, then left. Next time, 
go left, right, left, right. Keep your core super tight and try not to let those hips swivel. Last three, two, and one. Nice work, 20 second recovery time. Next up, we have reverse flies. We'll start with the A fly and then go to a reverse fly. So I'll be using the same weight, tens then fives. Here we go, we have a reverse fly, but we're making the shape of an A with our hands. So take it back, you're leading with the pinkies. I'll give you a different view. Make sure you're hinged enough to where you're feeling it mainly in the rear delt mid back area. We drop the weight, reverse fly pulses in three, two, and one. Drop your weight selection this time. Neutral grip, bring it out to that three and six o'clock position and just pulse. Normal tempo, full range of motion. Let's go. Rolling plank is next, ditch the dumbbells. Right now, take it to the forearms. We take it to one side, so we have a side plank, reach up, and then take it to the other side. If needed, release the bottom knee. Last three, two, and recover 20 seconds. Next up, we have shoulder presses. I'm gonna try, try being the key word, to start with those 25s, drop it to 15s. Neutral grip with the shoulder press. Keep your core tight, let's go.
drop the weight selection to something lighter in three, two, and one. We pulse. I'm grabbing 15s. Feel free to go a little bit lighter. We do have a pronated grip with the pulse. Normal tempo, full range of motion. Let's go. First, we gotta shake it out. And now we go. We combine the rolling plank and high to low plank next in three, two, and one. Take it down to your plank position. We take it down to our low plank, so go right, left. Once we get here, rolling plank, back to center, then go up, right, left. Next time, go down, left, right, rolling plank. Come back up, left, right. Last three, two, and one. Recover. Next up, hip hinge rows. Neutral grip with your rows. Keep your core tight. Lats stay locked in as we hinge it back. And now we row. In about five seconds, we drop the weight and we continue to pulse with a pronated grip. Wow, let's go. Full range of motion, normal tempo in three, two, and one. Up next, we have a plank renegade row. You can always do this on the knees in three, two, and one. Go ahead and get set into your plank position. Make sure your dumbbells are out of the way. Wide stance with the feet. And now we row it up one at a time. Keep the core tight. Try to keep that swing to a bare minimum. Working on anti-rotation of the hips as well.
last three, two, and one, recover. Next up, we have a chest press. 25s and 15s, that's what I'll be using. But you and I are different, so find something that feels challenging for you. Get set, neutral grip. And now let's go. Press it up, control it down. We're about to make the drop. Something lighter, I'll be grabbing 15s. We'll pulse in three, two, and one. Get set first, this time semi-pronated grip. Once you get there, try not to let those elbows touch the ground. So keep some space in between your tricep and your elbow and the mat. Mine is not touching. I can feel like a hair barely touched, but we're not letting it rest on the mat. Full range of motion, normal tempo. Let's do it. Next up, we have push ups. We'll start off the knees, but drop it to on the knees when you need to. Put those dumbbells down, get set into your high plate position, and now we rep it out. Last three, two, and recover. Wow, all right. Next up, we have bicep curls. I'll be starting with 15s, dropping it to 10s. Here we go, neutral grip. Just control it. Try to keep those elbows locked in place. Try not to let the elbows swing forward. Control it. We drop the weight selection to something lighter. We pulse supinated grip. Let's go, set the dumbbells down, grab something lighter, take it to the top and pulse. Really squeeze the bicep to bring it back up.
full range of motion, normal tempo. Let's go. Mountain climbers are next. We pause on every third rep, set your dumbbells down, get into position, high plank. Knee goes directly into the chest. Go three, two, hold for two. Three, two, hold for two. Last three, two, and one. <laughs> Recover. Next up, we have front raises. I have 15 pounds written down. I'm gonna drop to tens. Starting with tens, dropping it to fives. Let's go. We start with a neutral grip, bring it up to pronated. We drop the weight selection to something lighter and pulse right away. Grab it, take it to the top and pulse. Keep those shoulders down and away from the ears. Think about using the front of the delts to make the pulse. Normal tempo, full range of motion. Let's do it. Next up, we have plank shoulder taps. Come to your high plank position in three, two, and one. Dumbbells down, high plank position, wide stance, core stays tight, and now we tap one shoulder at a time. If needed, release the knees to the mat. Keep your hips as still as possible. Last three, two, and one. Recover. Next up, we have tricep extensions. 
<laughs> I'm using tins. I, I was ambitious when I wrote down my weight selection. Grab a drink. We're on to our final two triceps. We'll start, I'll start with tins. Here we go. Bring it down, bring it up. Core stays tight, hinge from the elbows, feel that stretch along the triceps. Use the triceps to bring the dumbbells back. Elbows can flare out a little bit, that is fine. Shoulders down and away from the ears. We drop the weight selection to something lighter in five, four, three, two, one. Drop that weight selection, lighten the load. <laughs> it doesn't feel like it's gonna be lighter. Continue. This is where we're really fatiguing the muscles. Make sure you're taking the dumbbell high enough to where you feel the tricep contract. If we're just kind of staying low like this, probably not feeling it much. So make sure you're bringing it up. It's about that halfway level. Full range of motion, let's go. Next up is our final plank variation, Spider-Man plank to a push-up. Let's go set those dumbbells down. Wide stance. We take opposite, we take same knee to same tricep, one each side, hold center, push up. So it's right knee, right tricep, left knee, left tricep, push up. The modification would be to go onto the knees for both. Last three, two, and one. <laughs> All right, now we flip it over. We're on our back until the end. Final tricep, then we hit a burnout, then we're done. We start with a dumbbell double crunch. It'll hit your lat muscles as well as your abs. Grab the dumbbell like this to increase the range of motion. Take it behind the head, arms fairly straight, and then bring it up. Inhale to lengthen, exhale to contract. Make sure to press the low back against the mat and we're not having that excessive arch come into play or you will feel it in your low back and that's not what we're targeting. So press the low back into the mat as you lower. Right before you bring it up, exhale. Feel the abs contract to help assist. Drop the weight in three, two, and one. Grab something lighter, pulse it out. Reach that dumbbell 
up and out. Full range of motion, normal tempo. Let's go. Next up, we have body weight power sit ups. You can always just take it to a crutch in three, two, and one. We're right here. We bring it all the way up. Control, control, control it down. The modification will be a double crunch, what we just did, but with body weight only. In 10 seconds, we go on to the burnout round. It's a burnout for your abs. Stay with me. We have three exercises, then we're done. In three, two, bicycles. Let's go. Just right and left. In five seconds, we go to leg lifts in five, four, three, two, one, bilateral leg lifts. Lift the hips, control it down, hover the heels. Use the lower abs to bring those heels up, control it down. Last rep, then we end with flutter kicks. You got this. Hover and hold at the bottom in three, two, hold, and now flutter up and down. If you can, lift the head to engage the entire six pack muscle group. Here's your last 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, and we hold 5, 4, 3, 2, hold and squeeze. Breathe <laughs> through it, final 10. Last 5, 4, 3, 2, and we are done. Wow, tapping out. And let's go ahead, roll over onto one side until you're on your belly. Forearms to the ground, heart reaches forward, stretching out those abs. Gentle stretch to the abs. If you're ready to increase the intensity of the stretch, feel free to stay right here. Take the hands to the ground and increase. Start to find some movement. Let the right hip go down, look over left shoulder. Left hip down, look over right shoulder, and continue this for a few times. Inhale to center. As you exhale, come to a tabletop position and take it to a variation of puppy pose. So left arm goes out to the side, right arm anchors, and just let the weight of the body go over to the left. So you're really targeting that left lat muscle. Breathe through it. One more big deep inhale. On the exhale, come out of it. Other side. Mm 
One more big deep inhale. On the exhale, go to center, equal weight in both hands. Come into a full puppy pose. Bring the face with both hands, bring it up to a nice easy seat and just take a side reach up and over. On the next side, hold, rotate that shoulder blade back and side bend a little deeper, make sure that hip stays planted. And let's take it to the other side. Inhale, arms up to center. Exhale, let's hit the triceps. Inhale up to center. Exhale, other side. Inhale up to center. Exhale, open. One more time. Inhale up. Exhale, open. If you're looking for a little more, I'm going to link some amazing stretches that are super quick below. I just released a 13 minute a mid to upper back stretch that releases the shoulders as well. So check that out. Super quick. Feels so good. As always, as long as you tried your best, that is all that matters. I give you my weight selection just because I know I, I get that question a lot, so I give it. Uh, but just know that you and I are different. So I want you to find a weight selection that feels challenging for you that day. And that's gonna look different every single day. As I told you earlier, I had different weight selections written down from what I, I used because I was just too fatigued. I know, I know it just wasn't gonna <laughs> work out. My form would be really, really bad if I chose that weight selection. But of course, always feel free to try out that weight selection. Challenge yourself. See if you can do a couple reps and then drop it. What I'm trying to say is you and I are different. So as long as you tried your best, that's what matters the most. Of course, your love and support means the absolute world to me. Thank you so much for working out with me today. Be sure to like, comment, subscribe, tag me in your posts and stories on IG at Laurie Midkiff. Love to see them. Facebook Fit by Laurie. And most importantly, I'm out of breath. Have an amazing day. You rock.